air delays on top of the park closure of the line, so do make sure you check before you head out. On the roads in Boreham Wood, there's still quite a bit of snow around next to the roads. This is the A1 coming into town at Stirling Corner. The Chelsea Embankment is closed and westbound between Chelsea and Battersea Bridge. That's because of gas works. And in Ballin, the high road is partially blocked. That's southbound near Old Devonshire Road because of a burst water main. OK, let's see how the weather's looking. Here's Kate. Good morning. Well, many of us saw a very wintry weekend with a fair amount of snow. Today, a bigger problem is the ice. Now, the Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for the ice for us this morning. We've got rain coming up from the south, light snow coming down from the north, mixing together, falling on frozen ground. So we could see potentially some very dangerous driving conditions through this morning at least. A bit more in the way of rain, but a sleety mix this afternoon, coupled with a very cold north northwesterly wind. It's not going to be pleasant. Temperatures struggling to get above zero. Now the rain will clear away overnight, the sky clears, could get one or two isolated freezing fog patches but the temperature very cold indeed, minus five, maybe even minus six, so a widespread hard frost first thing on Tuesday morning. But those clearing skies mean it's going to be quite a nice day if you don't mind the cold. It's not going to get very warm but we will see plenty of sunshine. The wind that little bit lighter as we head through Tuesday. The maximum temperature still struggling to get above zero in some spots. The best we can hope for is around three in central London. Another chilly night overnight Tuesday into Wednesday but then some slightly milder air coming in through Wednesday then getting cold again for the end of the week. Well I'm back with more from BBC London News in around half.